Beho has been redeployed to Darfur in Sudan as the Deputy Joint Special Representative of the United Nations and the African Union. The international civil servant has been instrumental in the implementation of development programs in health, education and institutional policy frameworks during her two-year stay. It's an impact here. First, I met you as you just came and I was also brand new too. We started basically together and we just I mean, started. But uh, that is a special thing. The places you have gone to, the way you have opened up to the whole community of American people, all aspects of them, was unique. I have been working in Lusaka, UN agencies. I have been here for some time. But it, is, it was unique uh, input you brought. So thank you. We regret to see you go, but c'est la vie. <laughs> Beho credits the UNDP's achievements to government's own efforts and willingness to align national programs to the sustainable development goals. I think I'm leaving as we are planning as a UN for the next five years. And my last act will be to sign our next five-year agreement with the National Planning Commission. Excellency, I'm very proud to report that this time around, the UN framework is fully aligned with Namibia's development strategy. We're even using the same pillar names that you have within NDP5. What we committed with your ministries, the agencies, private sector, think tanks, is that the UN is going to be clear about what in the war on poverty we believe we can contribute. The UN diplomat maintains that the fight against poverty is on the right track. Namibia's poverty rate currently stands at 18 percent, according to the 2015-2016 Income and Expenditure Survey, down from 27 percent. We are saying now that Namibia needs to address its last mile challenge, which perhaps is the most difficult challenge of all. It's trying to make sure that the 18% of the population who are classified as poor transition and enjoy the benefits that you and I do. We believe that it can be done. The UN diplomat has served the world body in war-torn countries, including Cambodia, Angola and Iraq.